Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing another episode of Timber Bone. In the previous episode we built a new district to farm scrap metal and build this smelter to make metal blocks. Then I let the game run for a little while for us to get enough resources to finally unlock and build the explosive factory. So, let's unlock the explosive factory and place it in somewhere here. In fact, I'm going to place two explosive factories because for what I have in mind we're gonna need lots and lots of dynamite. Also place a warehouse to store dynamite. Then make both of these buildings a high priority and let it build. We finished building the explosive factories and right now we are making dynamite. However, there's a tiny bit of problem which is we do not produce enough power for all these buildings to operate at the same time. So we need to place few more windmills. I really don't like the way this looks. This place looks messy. I want to redo all this area. Do we have resources to do that right now? We might have enough. Yeah, with the recycle buildings we can get something back from these things. Okay, let's do it right now. Demolish all these buildings. Oh, I hope I don't regret doing this. We're gonna start building from here. First we need two lumber mills because one wasn't enough once we start making gears. Then the gear workshop and I'm gonna place a road down here and place the paper mill facing this way. Next we need to find where we're gonna place the windmills and how do we gonna spend the power to the buildings. I was thinking we could place the windmills up here in this area. Then we can run the power shaft alongside this cliff. I have an idea on how to run power shaft down there but I'm not sure it's gonna work or not. Either way, to do that, we need dynamite. So how many dynamite do we have? Oh, we have 25 dynamite. That'll be just enough. So what I have in mind is to blow up all the blocks underneath this road and run the power shaft down there. Then we can build a road on top of that. Let's try that. You'll see what I mean. I can't believe that actually worked. This is really neat. There are no power shafts going up and down in everywhere. Finally, I want to add few more storage buildings for our industries. I already moved some storage buildings. So let's connect this path to this one. And then we can add one more storage building in here. This storage is for metal blocks. Then we can change this one to hold planks. Next, we need few storage buildings for scrap metal and a big storage buildings for dynamite. Then we can change these storage buildings to hold paper. Finally, we can fill up these empty spaces with log storage here and a paper storage here. Then we are going to let our beavers build all these buildings. Okay, we finished constructing all the buildings. Now we are making more than 30 dynamites per day. We definitely going to need all of that dynamite for our next big project, which I'm really excited for. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the videos when it comes out. I know this is a short episode, but I'm gonna end this episode here for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and see you in the next one. Bye.